In these uncertain economic times, you've got to do whatever you can to save money. One of our biggest expenses can be our cars, especially when unexpected repair bills hit. Not anymore. If you own a vehicle with less than 130,000 miles, is less than 12 years old, has a warranty about to expire, or even no warranty at all, you could stop paying for car repairs. Roadside assistance, towing, and rental coverage are all included. Don't wait for the next repair. Make one free call right now to see if you qualify. If your vehicle is less than 12 years old, has less than 130,000 miles, even if it's out of warranty, paying for car repairs can become a thing of the past. Call us right now and get your car protected before your next repair bill hits. Get protection and no more repair bills. Call 800-696-1030. Again, 800-696-1030. That's 800-696-1030. 800-696-1030. You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. All writers are prone to becoming so attached to our characters and stories that we struggle to see why a passage may not be working. It takes another set of eyes to help us nurture our writing to full maturity. At Black Wolf Editorial Services, we strive to enable writers to develop and grow, shaping stories into masterpieces that can stand the test of time. Editing services are provided for all genres and all age categories. Services range from critiques of the short story through to the line edits of the full-length novel and copy editing for those preparing for publication. We also offer assistance on generating a writer's file for your website, as well as help with those book blurbs and promotional material. We won't abandon you to the masses. We want to celebrate with you and your successes. Black Wolf Editorial Services. Nurturing your writing into maturity. For a full list of services and prices, visit us at blackwolfeditorial.com. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control over your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank account, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problems now by calling the experts at Tax Mediation Services and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new laws that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. Tax Mediation Services is accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Call now for a free case review and a price protection guaranteed quote. Call Tax Mediation Services now at 800-610-9050. That's 800-610-9050. 800-610-9050. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. This is Slickery Trigger for Rebel Road Tactical. With proper care and feeding, your pistol will be ready when you need it. There to save your life. Shouldn't your gear be that good? Whether you need a holster for comfortable everyday carry or a tough-as-nails holster for your next training course, Rebel Road Tactical has what you need. Check us out on the web at rebelroadtactical.com. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 
dollars a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than three dollars a pill. Call one eight hundred five one six seventy six zero two today and save up to five hundred dollars and get forty pills for just ninety nine dollars. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at one eight hundred five one six seventy six zero two to take your call right now. Call one eight hundred five one six seventy six zero two. That's one eight hundred five one six seventy six zero two. Again, one eight hundred five one six seventy six zero two. Is debt beating you down? You need discipline. You need the Debt Ninja. If you've been caught in a financial trap and need to be set free, then you need the Debt Ninja. Want to stop those harassing collection calls? Start saving thousands in interest and fees and get out of debt fast? Then you need to call the Debt Ninja. The Debt Ninja will find the best companies across the country that will help you consolidate all your bills into one easy payment, reduce your payments by 30 to 50%, and get you out of debt fast. If you have unsecured debt of $10,000 or more, such as credit cards, loans, or medical bills, call the Debt Ninja for a free 15-minute consultation. Call 800-826-1246. 800-826-1246. That's 800-826-1246. Call today. The Debt Ninja. Defending Liberty one hour at a time and broadcasting live from the RWB Network Studios in New York City, this is the Rhino Report. Always right. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Uh, I've now been in 50... Seven states. I think one left to go. We are going to raise taxes on the middle class. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You are very rude. We are going to make America great again. USA! USA! Let's roll. And now, here's your host, the Rhino. The new sheriff is now. Hello, hello. I am the Rhino, and this is my weekend report. And we're coming to you from the RWB Network Studios in New York and on CRN Digital Talk Radio. So it sounds like former Subway pitchman Jared Fogle, he's going back to court. But this time, he's the plaintiff. (laughs) Go figure. This is all in response to a civil suit filed by one of his victims against him. He's now suing this child's parents, saying that they are the reason why she was kind of misguided. I guess she was in this child porn thing, maybe one of the kids in the pictures, and now he's suing the parents because uh, apparently it's their fault. It's their fault, right? Um, Well, you know, this is uh, typical liberal stuff. I don't know what Jared Fogle's political tilt is, but this is blame the victim, right? Always blame the victim. That's what they're really good at. So we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how it plays out. I'm surprised this Indiana court is even allowing this suit. It sounds ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, But for now and for the next five years there, Mr. Fogel, enjoy your free footlongs. All right, let's get to today's headlines. First, since mainstream media couldn't find any softening in Donald Trump's immigration stance, they're now left with critiquing how Trump intends to pay for the big, beautiful wall, making this the first time liberal media has ever cared about government spending. Also, we have... The newly released list of debate moderators, eh, it's about what we expected. We'll talk about it. And is the silent voter a real thing, or are they already being counted? The experts are kind of baffled, the Clinton camp is in denial, and the Trump camp is confident. (laughs) We're going to break it all down and try to figure it out on today's show. All that, plus yet another national poll shows that the momentum in this race has taken a huge turn. We'll comment on the self-proclaimed misunderstood Colin Kaepernick. And gunmaker Smith & Wesson has just released its new earnings and projections report. I hope the president and Hillary Clinton were sitting down when when they read this one. 
We have all that, plus your daily dose of common sense you can only find here. But first, let's kick the show off the same way we always do, with a salute to our country, with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, you got to check out rhinoreport.com, rhinoreport.com. There's a brand new article up there. It's a multi-part article. Part one is up now. It's about uh, school security and freedom. So it's a good read for this back-to-school week. We're right there, right? Kids are back to school. We also have a new one by Tina. you got to check that one out, getting retweeted and shared on Facebook all over the place. And follow us on Twitter, at Rhino on Air, at Rhino on Air, or on Facebook. You can like us, poke us, share us on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Rhino Report. Remember the old episodes, iTunes, TuneIn, Spreaker, Podbean, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. We'll be back in a minute. Who's there? Falling off. Falling off who? Falling off pain patch. What? Don't be fooled by the knock-knocks. Get the relief you deserve with Blue Emu's Lidocare Pain Relief Patches. Our narcotic-free, maximum-strength adhesion formula with dry technology won't have you worrying about a corny knock-knock joke anymore. Because pain is no joke. Find us at CVS, Walgreens, and Amazon. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free, and your donation is tax-deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. All right, guys, welcome back to this weekend edition of the Rhino Report. A big shout out to everyone listening live. This feed is carried live on Red Nation Rising Radio, the Liberty Feed, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. Eastern. And also a big shout out to everyone this weekend on WJHC 107.5 out of Jasper, Florida. Now, I was thinking about you guys last night. Of course, with the hurricane coming on uh, shore there in the big bend of Florida. And, it, it, I mean, it passed, like, right over you guys. So I hope everyone there is safe. It's downgraded now to a tropical storm. Tropical storm, Hermine. You know, when it's when it's within five or six miles an hour, it's really just semantics. It's a dangerous thing. Any kind of weather event of this nature and this magnitude is always a dangerous thing. Now, I'm kind of a weather nerd. I'm a space nerd. I like those kind of things. I could watch this coverage for days. Days. Weather Channel just has me fixed on it. But it sounds like it's going to go through Georgia, South Carolina, come off the Outer Banks in North Carolina, and then they're not quite sure. They're not quite sure what's going to happen. Does it go out to sea? Does it bend around and hit New England? Is New York in line for another one? Who knows? They don't know. Least of which is them. (laughs) We don't know either. Every model is different. Every model you look at, all different, all different. The only issue I have, I have two issues with this storm, and then we're going to get off of it. Number one, I don't like that I'm hearing that the National Hurricane Center is going to take the name off of the storm if it becomes a post-tropical storm. I don't like that. you got to keep the name on it. We had this problem here in New York and specifically Long Island with Sandy. They weren't calling it a hurricane. They were calling it a superstorm. Well, a superstorm is not classified on any insurance rider. So when you take the name out of the storm, it's not a hurricane or a tropical storm, the insurance companies get off scot-free because they say, oh, well, you had flood insurance, but you didn't have hurricane insurance, or vice versa. You had hurricane, but not flood. This wasn't a hurricane. It was a hurricane. you got to keep the name on it. Because the only person that makes out are the insurance companies. People here on Long Island are still waiting for their money. We're talking four years ago. Four years ago. Now, some people do have an objection to people rebuilding their home in the same spot it got washed away. Because how many times is the taxpayer going to pay to rebuild their house? I get that. I understand that argument. But just call it a hurricane. Call it a tropical storm. That's that's the most honest thing to do. 
My other argument is with the way local media covers this. Now, I'm not watching local media out of Tampa or out of Tallahassee, so I don't know how it's being covered down there. All I know is how it's being covered here. And the fact that this area happens to be within that cone. Now, if you watch the Weather Channel a lot or you watch weather a lot, they give you that cone, right? And it kind of tells you where the center of the storm may pass over. When the cone is nice and narrow, they have a good idea of where it may go. When the cone is a little bit wider, well, less of an idea. But when the cone has an ice cream top on it, when it flares out and then you get a big bubble on top, that means they have no clue. No clue. So, being in that bubble, I'd like to be prepared. The news here is covering it in a very similar fashion to which they covered Hurricane Sandy, which was absolutely devastating for this area. I was lucky. The water stopped about 100 feet from my house. I was very lucky. A lot of people weren't as lucky. But they didn't really prepare anybody. They kind of said, you know what, it's, it's not a hurricane anymore. It's going to be a little gusty, and, and maybe some rain will come down. Uh, but it'll be, all be over by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and you guys can get on with your lives. That's how it was covered here. Now, here we have very local news, something called News 12 Long Island. All they do is Long Island news. You would think that they would see this as a big story, right? Nah, nah. The big story is Donald Trump softening on immigration. That's the big story, which he never did. He didn't do it. We talked about that ad nauseum the last two days. But the local news not doing a great job. And you know what? Weather Channel not really doing a great job either of getting people prepared ahead of the storm. They did a pretty good job getting everyone in the Tampa or north of Tampa area prepared. But now we're all kind of sitting here thinking, where's this thing going? Where's it going? No one has any idea. No idea. So... Uh, if you don't hear from me on Monday, I'm out to sea somewhere. Oh, Monday. Forget that. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Monday, we're off. We're off Monday. Hopefully, you guys are off, too. All right. Let's move on to this uh, this Colin Kaepernick stuff, because I've just about had it up to my elbows talking about this guy. We have this game last night, San Diego, military night, Kaepernick not standing, doesn't stand, he kneels. So that's sort of like an in-between, I guess. He, he kneels during the national anthem, but he's not going to stand. And a couple of players knelt with him. This is getting a little ridiculous. And maybe it's the coverage that's ridiculous. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we shouldn't care about what a second-string quarterback thinks. Just because he happens to make a lot of money, who cares what he thinks? I don't care. But this picture comes out yesterday of Kaepernick during, I think, August 10th or August 12th, one or the other, wearing these socks during practice that showed pigs dressed up like police officers. Well, that's not very nice, but we know his real issue is with police officers. Remember he said that cosmetologists or cosmonauts or whatever have more training than police officers? He said that a couple days ago, and he's not recanting those statements. What he's saying now is he's just misunderstood. He wants to fight the the racial injustices, minority oppression, and everybody screamed and yelled, well, how much money are you giving to fight these things? And the answer was zero. And you know the answer was zero because he didn't respond to it. Now he says he's going to give a million dollars to organizations that help fight these causes, I guess on his behalf. So you know Black Lives Matter is in line for a pretty good payday. He's retweeted them a couple of times on his Twitter feed. So I assume he supports them. But he has these socks on with the, with the, the pigs dressed up as cops. And the San Francisco Police Department and their union invited him to say, Hey, why don't you come to the academy for a day? See what it is that our officers in training go through. Perhaps it's a little bit more than learning how to use a curling iron. Whether he accepted it or not, I don't know. Probably won't. Probably won't. But he must think it's very easy. And as somebody who's former law enforcement, I can tell you, not the case. Not the case at all. In fact, Mr. Kaepernick wouldn't even make it through day, day one. Wouldn't make it through day one. Now, there are a lot of police officers and law enforcement officers that listen to this show. And they're going to nod their head in agreement 
with what I'm about to say. The first class you take in any sort of law enforcement academy is ethics. That's the very first class you take. The very first module they go over is ethics. Whether he has them or not, who knows? But you got to take a test on it afterwards. And the second thing you talk about in the academy you learn about is something called effective communication. Not active communication, not active listening, effective communication. Do you think Colin Kaepernick is effectively communicating? Is he communicating effectively by doing what he's doing? No. We're going to talk more about that when we come back. And then I want to talk about a new poll we got from uh, the IBD. It's a pretty good one. And we have the list of moderators for these debates. Eh, You kind of knew who it was going to be anyway, but we'll talk about it. Hang in there, guys. You're listening to The Rhino Report. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. Attention, this important consumer alert is brought to you by CBC Funding. Hey, did you know it's possible to receive upfront money from your structured settlement, annuity, or pending lawsuit? It's true. If you are receiving a structured settlement spread out over time and you want to lump some amount delivered immediately, then you need to call CBC Funding. With your cash today, you can pay off credit card debt, pay medical bills, fund your education, or improve your home. You don't need to wait. Structured Settlements are commonly used to resolve personal injury lawsuits. Annuities, they're designed to spread payments out over 10 or 20 years. For many of you in need of money today, this simply does not work. If you have a structured settlement and you want cash now, call CBC Settlement Funding. Here's the number. 800-303-4607. 800-303-4607. 800 303 4607. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante in Fullerton, California for authentic family style Italian dinners. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate your party or event in one of our festive banquet rooms. Angelo's and Vinci's, Fullerton, California, 550 North Harbor Boulevard. Named the Orange County Hot List Top 5 Italian Restaurant for seven years in a row. And a top 10 pizza restaurant by Gale, featuring traditional and award winning pizzas. Offering Sunday champagne brunch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., just $16.95. Choose from over 20 items plus cream. Eat your own personal omelet. Delicious lunches, including our express lunch buffet, eight ninety five with over fifteen items, and dinner seven days a week. Getting married? Angelos and Vinci's won this year's Wedding Wire Couples Choice Award. You can talk to our experienced staff of wedding coordinators. We treat you as guests at your own wedding reception. It's all at Angelos and Vinci's Restaurante at five fifty North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. Guys, welcome back to this weekend edition of the Rhino Report. We're talking about Colin Kaepernick because we're forced to talk about people like him. And as I said before the break, if you're in law enforcement, you know that the very first thing that's taught in the academy is ethics. What's ethical, what's not ethical, what you can and can't do when you wear a badge. Right? Now this I'm talking about because Colin Kaepernick was invited to go to the Law Enforcement Academy where the San Francisco Police Department trains. We don't know if he's accepted it or not. He won't go. He won't go. Maybe he'll go to beauty school. Maybe he'll go there instead. Anyway, the second thing you learn about is effective communication. How to effectively communicate with somebody. 
Because as a law enforcement officer, you can't constantly be escalating the situation. That never works out in your favor. You have to listen to the person, try to keep everybody calm, and communicate with them effectively. Do you think Colin Kaepernick, by wearing pig socks, police officer pig socks, is communicating effectively? By saying what he says in mainstream media, do you think he's communicating effectively? So forget the running five or six miles. Forget the sit-ups. Forget the push-ups. Forget all of that, which he thinks is so easy. It's the learning. It's the absorbing. It's the knowing what you need to know mentally to be able to perform the job that he would never get through. Now you law enforcement officers out there, you know, every single day you take a different test, right? Every module you learn, you take a test on, a state test, a local test, whatever it is. You take tests every single day. It's not like high school where you learn about something for two weeks and take a test on Friday. No, you learn something. Ten minutes later, you got to take a test on it. That's how it goes. In most academies, anyway, I assume. Colin Kaepernick wouldn't make it here. He wouldn't make it. Most of these guys, I'm not sure how he did in college. I have no idea. Some of these guys, uh, these big football players, they take things like underwater basket weaving in college. You know, things like that. Does he have the capacity to handle a police academy? Eh, probably not. Doesn't like taking direction. That's never good if you're going to be a recruit. Not good. Or a trainee. But before you learn about V&T and CPL and local penal code, you got to learn how to communicate effectively. He's just not doing it. Just not doing it. So, Anyway, he's going to give a million dollars to some lucky organization that, I guess, fights for things he believes in. So, some, uh, some of his friends joined him here, kneeling on the sidelines. Some guys from the Seahawks joined him. I'm not going to get into their names. doesn't really matter. I don't want to give them the airtime. But, um, hey, listen, you don't like our country? You don't like our flag? You don't like what it stands for? Leave. Leave. That's one of the great things about this country, about being a free nation, is you are free to leave. No one's going to stop you. No one's going to come running after you. It's like all these celebrities that want to leave when Donald Trump becomes the president. Leave. We don't care. You know what? Most of these celebrities... And the people with big, big-time money, their money is not being held here anyway. It's all offshore. So it's not like we're going to miss the taxes on it. Leave. Who cares? You don't think we can find a second-string quarterback somewhere? <laughs> not hard to find. Plenty of guys. Plenty of guys. All right. Um, speaking of how mainstream media likes to distort things, because that's kind of a running theme here. Let's talk about what happened on HLN, CNN Headline News. They were interviewing a police officer from New Jersey. His name was Stephen Eckel, 53-year-old retired police officer. He saw that a baby was trapped in a car. So he approaches the car. He has a sledgehammer. And tries to break the window. It's 90 degrees out. The baby has a blanket on it. Gotta get the baby out of the car. Now, sometimes that's just a very innocent mistake. I'm not going to crucify every single person that happens to leave a kid in the car. Sometimes it's on purpose. I get that too. In this instance, it seems like it was an innocent mistake. So the former police officer, Mr. Eckel, grabs a sledgehammer, breaks the window, finally, after two or three attempts is able to rescue the baby. The baby is sweating profusely. So Headline News, CNN Headline News, is talking to him about the whole thing. Well, he was wearing a Trump shirt. He had a Trump for President 2016 shirt on. And it was a live feed. But when they replayed the interview, CNN blurred the shirt out. They blurred it out. We can't show our viewers... That a police officer supports Donald Trump. We can't do that. So they blurred it out. And they said later, oh, we blurred the logo and we shouldn't have done it. It was an innocent mistake. It was an honest mistake. Yeah, right. Nothing CNN does is an honest mistake. The same company that said to you on air, we're doing everything we can to get Hillary reelected. Right? Chris, Chris Cuomo, is that who said that? I don't know. I don't watch that garbage. 
All right, when we come back, are there other ways to pay for the wall? And we'll go over the debate moderators. We have the list here. Hang in there, guys. Stay healthy from head to wallet with Wellness Plus with Plenty at Rite Aid. You can earn Plenty points on hundreds of specially marked products each week on your favorite brands. Every 100 Plenty points equals a dollar off your next purchase. Sign up today in store or online at RiteAid.com. And that's just one of the four ways to save. Now through September 24th, spend $50 a week on participating products at Rite Aid and earn 2,000 Plenty points worth $20 in savings. Visit RiteAid.com slash points for details. As we are all aware, restaurants and celebrity chefs come and go. But one restaurant is constant, El Cholo. Hi, this is Larry Elder. Since 1923, the original El Cholo on Western Avenue and those in La Habra, Santa Monica, downtown L.A., Anaheim Hills, and the latest Corona Del Mar have served millions of loyal fans and multiple generations. If you've dined there, you know the reason why. It's those fresh green corn tamales, Carmen's historic nachos, the margaritas, and so much more. Treat yourself and dine at a restaurant you really want to go to, not one where you're supposed to go to. El Cholo. Cholo. I know I do. Is your business paying too much for your water? Pure Water Technology provides the world's best fully monitored, self-cleaning, bottleless water purification coolers for your employee drinking water. That's right. I said bottle-less because Pure Water Technology can provide you and your employees with a much healthier and cost-efficient alternative than what you're currently using. And we provide free trials. Pure Water Technology has technology unlike any other company. And you can save an average office over 6,000 gallons of water annually. So you can do your part for our California drought, save water, and at the same time have happier, healthier employees. We use new reverse osmosis technology. It's available only through pure water technology. No one else has this system. And we save water too. Log on to ditchthebottle.com or call 888-790-7873 for free information and your free trial. 888-790-7873. Call now. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800 905-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. So you've missed the healthcare deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org. To request a free estimate, do it today. All right, guys, welcome back to the weekend edition of the Rhino Report. Thanks for playing along with me this weekend. We're talking about headline news, CNN, of course, and how they they blurred out the vote for Trump shirt that the police officer, Good Samaritan, who saved the baby from the car, was wearing. Because we just can't do things like that. You can't. You can't let people know that a police officer, a good Samaritan, anybody, in fact, is voting for Donald Trump. Can't let them know that. That's against the mainstream media rules. They said they blurted out the logo and they shouldn't have done it. It was done in error. It was an innocent mistake. Blah, blah, blah. Nope. Totally done on purpose. Totally done on purpose. 
We're not fooled. We continue to not be fooled by mainstream media. Uh, this is only about a week after they uh, they they canceled that that Dr. Drew Pinsky's Dr. Drew on Call show because he questioned Hillary Clinton's health. How dare he question the health of Hillary Clinton? That is means for expulsion. Get him out of here. We're trying to get Hillary elected. We can't be talking about how she may just keel over one day. He said if you're on Coumadin, hey, maybe, you know, this could be a stressful job. That's what he said. Well, he's gone. Trump for president gets blurred out. Typical CNN, the Clinton News Network. (laughs) No real surprise there. You know what? Let's stick with the mainstream media thing for a second. Let's go over these debate moderators. These just got released today. Now, I know. I'm doing all this material today with the full knowledge that the FBI has released the investigation information about Hillary Clinton and her email server. Okay? I am aware. Now, that came out about 15 minutes before we started the show. So I said, okay, like a a good show host, I'll go, I'll scrap the material I have for today... And I'll just talk about this because that's very important. I went to the link that was provided by the FBI to the different news sources to direct their viewers to. I click on the link and it says there's nothing in this folder. The FBI website, nothing in this folder. So I tried, guys. I tried. I'm sure it'll be fixed, but um, maybe it was. Uh, maybe it just went down. Maybe it had too many people clicking on it. I don't know. Like Trump's website after his immigration speech on Thursday crashed. Because everyone wants to donate money to him now. People like him now. He's presidential. He had a good day on Thursday. He had a really good day. He looks presidential in Mexico. He looks presidential talking about immigration. Lays out a 10-point plan that essentially is just following the current laws. That's what that plan was. He just showed you what the current laws were that we're not following. With the exception of perhaps, perhaps the sanctuary cities. That may have been the only new thing in there. But nine of the ten points were current laws. So he looks presidential. The website crashes. People want to donate money to him. The FBI website crashes today. Who knows why? Who knows why? I mean, we could all we could all speculate. <laughs> but what's the use in that? All right. These debates. You have September 26th is the Monday. So if you like football, I don't know. Monday Night Football, Hofstra University, a stone's throw from where I am right now. Uh, this is a formal debate style it's going to be moderated by lester holt did i call this two months ago or what i knew i knew the first debate was going to be lester holt this should be really good to watch really good can you imagine the questions right here's the first question mr trump does my skin color offend you oops no time for a response madam clinton madam secretary Is it true that some liken you to Mother Teresa? Is that true? (laughs) These are the questions, I'm telling you. This is how it's going to sound. Oh, well. Lester Holt gets the first one. Big surprise there. Sunday, October 9th, another football day, Washington University. Uh, This is in St. Louis, of course. This is a town hall style. So maybe Hillary can sit down for a few minutes. Town hall styles, they sit down a little bit. So she'll like that. This is uh, uh, Martha Raddatz of ABC and Anderson Cooper of CNN. Big surprise there. They're moderating this town hall. Why you need two people to moderate a town hall is beyond me. Beyond me. Wednesday, October 19th. So finally we get one on a Wednesday. It just happens to be Major League Baseball playoffs, but whatever. Can't avoid that. It's another formal style debate at UNLV. University of Nevada, Las Vegas, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Rebels. Chris Wallace from Fox News. Now, that was the safe choice. That was the safe choice. I was hoping for O'Reilly. Hoping for it. But you know the Hillary Clamp camp was a million percent against that. He's, you know, he's been on her for now, what, months and months. He wants to get her on the show and really kind of grill her. He had her on for a little bit, but there was no grilling questions there. But he's friends with Trump. That's the issue. He's friends with Donald Trump. So uh, Noah O'Reilly, they were never in a million years going to have Hannity do it. And uh, Megyn Kelly, they don't want this to be a spectacle. So uh, she was out as far as that's concerned, too, I'm sure. The VP debate is October 4th, in case you want to mark it on your calendar, at Longwood 
Longwood University in uh, Virginia. All right. So it just so happens to be Tim Kaine's home state. Right. Well, it's okay. Hofstra is in New York, which is Donald Trump's home state. Uh, Hillary Clinton is not a New Yorker. I can tell you that. She's a carpetbagger. She's not. She came here to run for Senate. <laughs> She's not a New Yorker, despite what she says. Um, this is hosted by uh, CBS News's El- Elaine Keanu. So she's going to be hosting the VP debate. That should be a real thrill. That should be a real thrill. Tim Kaine and Mike Pence. Does it get any more boring than that? So those are your moderators. It's about what we expected. No big, no big surprises here. I thought maybe they'd give Chris Wallace the first one, but looks like he's getting the last one. He's all right. He's all right. Not my favorite, but all right. Uh, oh, Trump. Let's go back to Trump here. Um, speaking of this stuff that happened in, in uh, on Thursday in Mexico, he had said they did not discuss who's going to pay for the wall. The Mexican president, President Nieto, said, I told Trump we're not paying for the wall. So here comes an impasse that mainstream media can't wait to jump on. they got to jump on this because they can make Trump look bad if they want to. Well, there are some grumblings that maybe Mexico doesn't have to pay for it, but neither do we. So who would that leave? Who would pay for the wall? Well, there is a thought process that perhaps the cartels would pay for the wall. The Mexican drug and human trafficking cartels could pay for the wall. Now, it wouldn't be voluntarily. There's a plan in place. They have a plan to have them do this. And this you don't want to miss. I'm not sure if I'm for it, but I'll tell you about it. We'll also talk about a new poll. The Investor's Business Daily shows a big swing for Mr. Trump. And if you're going to buy stock, this may be the time to do it. I'll tell you why when we come back here on the Rhino Report. Defending Liberty, one hour at a time. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty HealthShare has the answer. Liberty HealthShare offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty HealthShare allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty HealthShare empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families, offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. This report is brought to you by Bank of America. Americans are banking on the go more than ever, as nearly two-thirds cite mobile or online as their preferred method of banking, a significant increase from last year. The third annual Bank of America Trends in Consumer Mobility report found mobile and online banking, as well as digital payments, continue to grow in popularity among U.S. consumers. More than half surveyed cite they actively use a mobile banking app, and 57% would consider or already use a peer-to-peer money transfer service from their bank. Two in five would use or already use their smartphone to make purchases at checkout. Michelle Moore, head of digital banking, Bank of America. This year's report demonstrates the growing reliance on our mobile devices to navigate daily life and manage finances. It's important for us to be where our customers are, which is why we continue to deliver new features that provide increased convenience to our more than 20 million active mobile banking users. For more, visit bankofamerica.com. All right, guys, welcome back to the show, The Rhino Report. Thanks for joining me. I am your host, The Rhino. Hope you're having a great weekend, a great holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend. It came up a little bit quicker than I think all of us intended for it to. But uh, if you get a chance over the weekend, check out rhinoreport.com, rhinoreport.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Rhino on Air or on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Rhino Report. We're all over social media. How current of us. How current and how relevant of us. All right. Um, so there may be some other options to get someone else to pay for this wall, right? 
they came out with this joint statement after Trump's meeting with President Nieto in, in Mexico, and they both agree that border security is paramount. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They all say a lot of platitudes, a lot of niceties. Nobody wants to make an enemy here. Uh, Nieto does not want to make an enemy of Trump, and Trump does not want to make an enemy of Nieto. So uh, it could have gone badly. It didn't. It went okay. I think it was a good moment for Trump. Makes him look presidential, which he needed. He needed that in the worst way. And it helps at a time when the polls are really surging in his favor. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. But So who else could pay for the wall? Who else could pay? Well, they're saying the Mexican drug cartels could pay for the wall. And they would do this by when we seize assets when it comes over the border, that that's going to pay for the wall. Apparently, we seize about $8.7 billion at the wall. Now, I'm not sure what they consider to be a seized asset. If they're talking about 100 kilos of Coke, well, how are you going to convert that into money? I'm listening. If you seize 100 kilos of Coke at the border, maybe it's worth $5 million. Or I'm not sure the street value of it, but whatever it's worth, how are you going to convert that into money? Not all of these guys are driving across the border with big escalades and stuff that are worth money that you can sell, you can auction. What are you going to do, auction off Coke? I don't get it. <laughs> so it falls apart in a lot of different areas. It falls apart there. Uh, the Bernstein Group says that it would take 15 to $25 billion to build a wall. Trump says he could do it between 8 and $10 billion. I'm going with Trump. This guy's built stuff before. What has the Bernstein Group built? Say that ten times fast. What are they built? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I guess the cartels bring in about $30 billion a year. Do you think Mexico wants to stop that? Well, because people are getting paid off with that money, and if they go out and spend that money, that's tax revenue. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. Mexico does not want a wall. They don't want a wall. And part of this proposal is that the Mexican government would hand over assets that they seize too. So now we have, to, we have to trust them to now hand over assets also. Perhaps one of the most corrupt police forces in the entire planet. we got to trust them to hand over what they seize. You know what? I would take any money you get from, from seizures or forfeitures and I put it to fixing the VA. That's where I put the money. Don't put it to build a wall. You got to make Mexico pay for the wall. They got to pay for it. They don't have a choice. That may seem harsh, but they do not have a choice. There is a tremendous trade deficit. At any point, we could shut the faucet off. And then what? We have leverage. You acquire leverage when you are a superpower in a region. It's about time we use it. The money we seize... From drug cartels or these seizures, that money should be earmarked for education. It should be earmarked for our VA. Why earmark it for a wall that Mexico should pay for anyway? I think this was kind of leaked out. I think the Trump camp leaked out this idea a little bit. Just to get people off the we're going to make Mexico pay for it type thing. Because I don't see any real way to make this happen. Again, most of the assets are people... That they have a value on human trafficking and drugs. How do you convert that to money? I'm all ears. I'm all ears. All right. If this gets any more traction, we'll talk about it. It's a dumb idea. It's a dumb, dumb idea. Let's talk about this new poll, the IBD poll. This is uh, the only national poll out today. Uh, Clinton leads Trump by one point in a head-to-head. -head, 43 to 44. But when you add in the law firm of Johnson and Stein, they're tied at 39. Tied at 39. Johnson gets 12 percent. And uh, Green Party candidate Jill Stein, who, yes, is still in this race, gets 3 percent. She's actually tanking a little bit. I mean, I thought she'd get a little bump. Um, she has <laughs> no silent vote. That's for sure. This is 861 likely voters, plus or minus 3.4 percent. Again, the IBD T-I-P-P poll. That's what it's called. Um, Republican level of interest at 88%. Democrat level of interest in this is 80%. This is the first poll that's showing Republicans actually more interested, which is a little odd since we had the vastly higher turnout during the primaries. Clinton's favorability slipped to 43. Uh, 
last month, I'm sorry, 40. Last month was 43. So she slipped three points. Trump gained seven points in favorability. 62% in this poll say Clinton is not honest. Only 58% think Trump is not honest. So no good numbers here, but going in the right direction for Donald Trump. Let's see. 47% think Trump would do a better job handling the economy. 43% think Clinton would do a better job with the economy. Uh, let's see. Clinton, her share of supporters who say they back her strongly dropped from 51% last month to 44% this month. Trump went up 3% from 47 to 50 He's going in the right direction here. Going in the right direction. This poll also found that 50% of people supported mandatory deportation. That's a little odd. For only 46% back of building a wall. That's a little interesting. I wouldn't go with that number. Um, we haven't seen that confirmed in any other poll. But because at last I thought, I think it was 36% were supportive of deportation. But this is the IBD poll. I want to finish talking about this poll. And then I want to tell you about a company... That is a big 2A company that you might want to invest in because they're doing pretty well, much to the chagrin of the Obama administration. We'll be back. It started at Bunko Night. A little tickle in my throat, says Sandra. Then comes Colin, barking like a seal. That cough, that's the flu. And then it spreads to Edna, to Wiley, to Marjorie. But when it comes to your door, you won't be answering because you got your flu shot at Rite Aid, where they care about you and your health. So while they're seeing doctors and sweating through fevers, you'll be teaching your granddaughter the two-deck shuffle. Shield yourself at Rite Aid before it's too late. If you're over 65, the CDC recommends flu and pneumonia shots. No appointments necessary, and they're free with Medicare Part B. Rite Aid. With us, it's personal. Flu vaccines available while supplies last. Age restrictions apply in some states. See pharmacy for details. Is your business paying too much for your water? Pure Water Technology provides the world's best fully monitored, self-cleaning, bottleless water purification coolers for your employee drinking water. That's right, I said bottleless. Because Pure Water Technology can provide you and your employees with a much healthier and cost-efficient alternative than what you're currently using. And we provide free trials. Pure Water Technology has technology unlike any other company. And you can save an average office over 6,000 gallons of water annually. So you can do your part for our California drought, save water, and at the same time have happier, healthier employees. We use new reverse osmosis technology. It's available only through pure water technology. No one else has this system. And we save water too. Log on to ditchthebottle.com or call 888-790-7873 for free information and your free trial. 888-790-7873. Call now. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call one 1- 800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's Ristorante in Fullerton, California for authentic family-style Italian dinners. Come to Angelo's and Vinci's and celebrate your party or event in one of our festive banquet rooms. Angelo's and Vinci's, Fullerton, California, 550 North Harbor Boulevard. Named the Orange County Hot List Top 5 Italian Restaurant for seven years in a row. And a Top 10 Pizza Restaurant by Gail, featuring traditional and award-winning pizzas. Offering Sunday champagne brunch from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., just $16.95. Choose from over 20 items plus great your own personal omelet. Delicious lunches, including our express lunch buffet, eight ninety five with over fifteen items, and dinner seven days a week. Getting married? Angels and Vinci's won this year's Wedding Wire Couples Choice Award. You can talk to our experienced staff of wedding coordinators. We treat you as guests at your own wedding reception. It's all at Angelo's and Vinci's Restaurante at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Call 714-879-4022. 714-879-4022. So you've missed the health care deadline and don't have any form of health care? Liberty Health Share has the answer. Liberty Health Share offers an affordable health care option that allows Americans to enroll any time of the year. For those of you who have already enrolled but just aren't satisfied with what you've chosen, there's still hope. Liberty Health Share allows Americans to control, manage, and direct their health care, yet still be in good standing with the Affordable Care Act. Members are exempt from the tax penalty and mandates imposed on individuals for not having health care insurance, thus giving you freedom from insurance. Liberty Health Share empowers their members by giving them the ability to choose any doctor or hospital across the nation. Memberships are for individuals, couples, and families. 
offering a variety of options to best suit an individual's medical needs. If you're a freedom-loving American like myself, looking for contract-free health care, then this is for you. For more information on how to enroll at any time of the year, call 855-585-4237 or visit libertyhealthshare.org to request a free estimate. Do it today. This is Jeff Carlisi from the Band 38 Special. Let us never forget that police lives matter. You're listening to the Rhino Report, always right on the RWB Network. The Republicans want to repeal it. You know, they actually, with a straight face, say that the Great Recession was was caused by too much regulation on Wall Street. They actually say that. You know, I remember when, you know, I've I've supported my husband through all of his races in Arkansas. And I, I, one of my favorite, favorite political ads of all time was a radio ad, rural Arkansas, where the announcer said, wouldn't it be great if somebody running for office said something, we could have an immediate reaction as to whether it was true or not? Well, we've trained this dog. And the dog, if it's not true, he's going to bark. And then the dog was barking on the, on the radio. And so, you know, people were, like, barking at each other for days after that. I'm trying to figure out how we can do that with the Republicans. You know, we need, we need to get that dog and follow, follow them around. And every time they say these things, like, oh, you know, the Great Recession was caused by too much regulation. Arf, 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 you know? I, I think we could, we could cut right through a lot of their, uh, you know, their claims. Welcome back to this last segment of our weekend show. We're talking about this IBD poll. Now, IBD has not been very friendly to Trump over the last uh, four or five months. In fact, if you look at the homepage, you can even tell which way they swing just by the pictures on the homepage before you actually get to the numbers in the poll. If a picture of Hillary Clinton looking all presidential at a podium with the American flag behind her, and then you have, which is a, a sight not seen all that often, and then you have a picture of Donald Trump with kind of a goofy look on his face. You know, so you can tell which way they're leaning. This is not this is not rocket science. But in this poll, still, uh, within one point head-to-head and tied in the four-way matchup. So they're within one. Uh, actually, today, L.A. Times today has Trump up again. So Trump has been up in L.A. Times for all week, all week. Now, the rest of this poll, let's see, 66% say the presidential candidates should release their medical records. 79% they should release their tax returns. Guys, this is a draw. <laughs> neither one, neither candidate is going to release, you know, medical records or tax returns. If Donald Trump released his tax returns, then Hillary Clinton should release her medical records. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. It's not going to happen the other way around either. Let's see. 50% approve of the uh, job President Obama is doing down from 52% last month. This is where Paul Ryan needs to step up. Paul Ryan needs to get the rest of the GOP little E on board and really attack Obama because he's been sliding. His approval ratings have been sliding for two weeks now, and there's a direct correlation between his approval rating and how Donald Trump does in the polls. We've seen this. They ebb and flow together. 41% of of, uh, people polled say the economy is in a recession. 37% uh, was the number last month, so that's up. People think we're not doing good, and they think we're doing worse, actually. 32% of households are quote-unquote job-sensitive, meaning that either someone is looking for or is worried about losing their job in the house. So that's a big number, and we know today 95, almost 95 million Americans, able-bodied Americans, out of work. Out of work. That number came out today. So this is the IBD poll. It's all it's all sunshine and rainbows for Donald Trump this week. Doing good. He's starting to make a comeback. If you trust commission polling, I'm, you know, I'm not there with it. I don't always trust it. I look at it as a way to just gauge a trend. That's how I, you know, Public popular opinion. All right. If you are thinking about buying a gun, you're thinking about buying a gun, which is a good idea, right? You're not the only one. You are not the only one. Smith & Wesson 
had a 40% jump in sales in their first quarter of this year. Now, they use April as their fiscal year end. Okay, that's why I'm, it's first quarter now for them, or just ended. Their profit in the first quarter more than doubled. Now, remember, revenue and profit are two different things. Profit, the way more important number. They estimate they will finish the year as a potentially a $920 million company. That's a big company. They had projected earlier this year they'd finish the year as a $760 million company. That's a huge jump. Huge. It's like a 20% jump. Even Reuters projected them as a $777 million company. 40% jump. Why do you think that is? Perhaps people are scared of losing their guns. They think Hillary might win. Public perception, every single poll, is that Hillary will win. And what has everybody been saying about that? Donald Trump especially? If you win, say bye-bye to your guns. Or if she wins, bye-bye to the guns. No more Second Amendment. People are stocking up. They're stocking up. Um, they're also uh, detesting, uh, or they're saying Orlando, Florida, and terrorist attacks are playing into this too. People want to be armed. They want to be safe. And like I said, just in case federal firearms policies change, people want to be ready. All right, guys, that's it for this weekend. Have a great weekend. A big thank you to all those serving our country at home and abroad. And a huge thank you to those in the law enforcement community. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all the hard work. We all depend on you. God bless all of you. God bless all of your families. And until Tuesday, until Tuesday, I'm the Rhino, and I'm out. I'm back. Back in the